we just admit that coronavirus has messed with our lives? We are all responding in our own way, in real time, from the best way we know how. Our opinions can vary, and that's okay. We can respect each other, even in our differences. But to me, far more important than our differences is our shared relationship in Christ. Dear sisters and brothers, as your pastors, our desire is not that we all agree. Our desire is that we stay united as the body of Christ. And we want to ask all of you to work with us in maintaining our unity. In cases when my independent spirit is challenged, I must pause and let Jesus lead. No matter what my thoughts or opinions are, it's vital that I do not discount others who have a different perspective. I'm allowed to hold on to my perspective, but I must demonstrate love and grace to all. May all of us love each other well, whether we agree or not on all things. Our world needs us to be different in the way that we relate to one another. COVID-19 has thoroughly messed up our lives. It has disrupted families' lives, closed businesses, challenged our freedoms, kept us from our friends, restricted the way we worship. Sadly for some, it has brought illness and even death. As with anything, people respond differently and hold differing views. We tend to get caught up in the details. But Jesus' instruction is clear. We are to love the Lord God with all our heart, soul, and mind, and love our neighbor as ourself. I, David. I, Isaac. I, Kathy. I, Joe. I, Alyssa. I, JT. Pledge to you several things. Our individual personalities, thinking styles, and opinions will not steal from our unity. Our I pledges are now being changed to we pledges. We are praying for the whole body of Christ at Westside. We are praying for our church's witness to our community to be the clear witness it needs to be. Love for God and one another, up front and center. Our world needs us. We want us to close this message in prayer. Please take a moment to think about someone who holds a different view than yours on current issues. Pray for better understanding for occur. Pray for God to help you love them more and for them to love you more. Now, pray for yourself. Pray that God leads you in your conversations, social media posts, in your actions, and even your thoughts as you strive for unity in our church body. Now let me pray for the whole body of Christ. God who is Father, Son, and Spirit, God who is unified, would you help us to be unified? Help us to reflect you to each other and to the world. We desire to be the unified body of Christ. We ask this in your precious name, Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We want to thank you for giving us these moments today. And we just want to say from all of us, we, we love, love you, you and, and we'll see you soon. soon.